Hello, good evening everyone, and welcome to my WRC9 World Rally WRC9 Championship uh, Series. Um, and this is episode number 50 of our third season of the WRC9 Championship. If you missed the previous one, which was the Dutchman Rally in Germany, be sure to check it out on YouTube.com and Rumble.com slash SpeedJavenator3. And you could also check it on my webcam on Twitch.tv slash SpeedJavenator3 if you want to leave your links likes and comments uh, down below and subscribe to my channel and the Speed Chamber Navy 3 show. Be sure to do that and go to the website on the YouTube and Rumble.com slash Speed Chamber Navy 3. And if you want to check the live show uh, on uh, YouTube.com, uh, I mean uh, on Twitch.tv, you can also check on that and subscribe to my channel on the Speed Chamber Navy 3 um, on Twitch.tv slash Speed Chamber Navy 3. Well, we have now won 11 consecutive rallies in a row here with the Hyundai Motorsports, and we already have clinched the, uh, the championship, and this is our fifth race in our post-championship uh, career mode in the WRC9 uh, championship, and we're next to the last race, uh, and to begin to close out the third season of my uh, WRC9 career mode. And remember, I already told you that next season will be my final season on the WRC9 game. But I will still do esports and all other coverages, and then maybe I'll try to broadcast them to you from uh, twitch.tv slash speedtaper83. So we're looking to go here at the Wales Rally, and remember, next season will be the final time we'll be running the Wales Rally event. And the uh, rally we're going to be going to is the Wales Rally in Great Britain. And it ought to be a very slippy, a very muddy uh, rally as we run our last gravel race uh, of season th three of my WRC9 career mode, and we're looking for our 12th uh, consecutive uh, World Rally Championship, looking for our 12th consecutive win here in the uh, rally schedule. And if I win one more race uh, at, at the Japanese, it will be the second time in history that I have completed all 12 wins and all 12 schedules here in the uh, WRC, um, WRC gaming career. And we have done a sensational job here for the uh, WRC9 uh, championship. And it's been a very impressive season. Very up and down, weird season. Uh, not like it was uh, really uh, perfect with the Hyundai Motorsports, but, uh, but the car has been flawless. It's been incredible. And we have been receiving uh, a boatload amount of points in the uh, manufacturers, like 1,076 points. And, uh, and we have a huge lead right now, and uh, we have already clinched the uh, World Rally uh, World Championship, um, already about 101 uh, ahead of Otitanic, and Craig Bean, Hayden Payton, Fourth, and Sebastian Ogier are the fastest Toyota in the top five, um, was on his top mark in a very good perspective. So we have a full crew management and everything, and it looks like the car is ready to go. Getting set for episode number 50 of the WRC9 Championship, or next to the last race of the uh, season three of my World Rally Not WRC9 Championship for Hyundai Motorsports. So here's episode number 50 of the World Rally Championship at the Wales Rally in Great Britain. Let's take it away. So we're going to start off with the first two rallies at Halfrin Reverse, about 6.6 .6 kilometers. Remember, there's no super stage in the. Uh, remember, we are already finished with all the super stage uh, rallies uh, throughout the whole season. So now it's just a flat out race to the finish. A flat out regular race rally to the finish. So the first two rallies are going to be very short. It's going to be the Halfrin Reverse and then the Great Army. And remember, the endurance rally will be uh, not until stage five. So it ought to be a very good rally, but uh, we have gravel trap and then also uh, the Great Orming, which is a very short rally, which is 100% asphalt over at the Great Orming uh, shoreline in Great Britain. So let's start out our first stage, not make any mistakes on the Hyundai Motorsports car, and let's get to the rally, episode number 50 of the Wales Rally Great Britain. Here we go. Starting off with stage one in the Halfern Reverse.
And we really got to be careful because we got light rain here in the house in reverse area. And it is so wet out there. So here we go. Let's just try to be careful out there and not slip away any of the corners. And we begin stage one, health in reverse. I tipped over. Oh no, I tipped over. I don't know how that car tipped over like that. And I lost 10 seconds on that time. They didn't do a very good job here in the first stage at the uh, Halfin Rally. That put me into seventh place, but I did get a little bit faster uh, at the last minute, but only 9.3 seconds. And Pierre Luis Bobet uh, wins uh, the first stage of the rally at four minutes, but I got four minutes and nine seconds. So let's see if I can uh, get it a little better at the uh, Great Orbing. So uh, it wasn't a very good stage in there because I tipped over a little bit uh, here in the first stage. So I had a little stumble at the start, but the, the car was able to get going again. And then uh, 
and then I redeemed myself a little bit, and then I was just trying to be careful out there in, in the rain. But we don't have to worry about that in the second stage, so now we can go to Great Ormond and see if we can try to uh, gain up some ground. And it's also raining again here, but uh, why is it, uh, it looks like the meteorologist was wrong. Well, let's see what we can do in Great Ormond, the very short stage rally here. Man, that was a the terrific job here in the second stage here in the Great Orming, and I was 11 seconds faster than Odetanik. Two minutes and 54 seconds in the very short second stage rally at Great Orming. Orming, and uh, 11 seconds faster than Odetanik. Hayden uh, Padon finished in third, and then Sebastian Ogier was fourth, but Luis Obey uh, lost 14 seconds, and he was the leader in stage one, but I it's redeemed revenge, and then I went in stage two at the Great Orming in the rain. That was a nice effort and a nice job. And that means we are now leading uh, into the overall now in the rally standing. So we're about 2.7 uh, seconds uh, away from Odic Tannic. Leading 2.7 minutes over Odic Tannic and Luis Dubay drops the third with 1.9 uh, minutes. Hayden Padon is uh, fourth and Sebastian Ogier runs the top five. But let's see now how we can do well in the next stage uh, of the rally. And let's make some repairs on the car after tipping over in the first stage. Man, look at the damage on the back of that thing. 
so so that means we have to change the spoiler and the rear bumper. Alright, so we put a new spoiler on the car and everything. It did affect a little bit on the, uh, the spoiler, but but it's alright. But we'll do a great job out there. And uh, once again, we're going to go to Great Orman Reverse in the third stage. And then the fourth stage, we'll go to Branding Reverse for 6.4 kilometers. In episode number 50, we're off to a good start right now. So after a little stumble in the first stage, the second stage... We were 11 seconds faster in Great Old Ring, and we're going to do it again. But right now, this time, we're going to do the uh, Great Orming in reverse. And who could have asked for better weather, and the weather is now cooperated. And look at the uh, Atlantic Ocean on the left side of the Great Orming. That is a very nice, beautiful uh, scenery and a beautiful coastline. I wish I was over there for real, uh, over here at the uh, Great Britain, because it is a nice and exciting to see that we're uh, rallying right next uh, to the water. And look at that, no mistake at all, and I ran a lot faster here in this rally. Look at that, and I almost uh, almost lost it there, but I had 617 thousandths of a second uh, better than the Pierre Luis Lube, and I barely win stage three of the Great Orbit Reverse. And good job with Sebastian Loeb in his third. Look at that, how close this was is. This is the first time uh, we have ever had a, a uh, almost a dead heat uh, close finish here in the third stage of the rally here at Great Orming, and then I beat everybody out by just about a few thousandths of a second. 
Look at 617 thousandths of a second faster than Mube and Lowe, and Ole Tenek was about 1.7 seconds, so it was very close. And uh, we barely won this uh, this rally here in the stage three, and it was a great job. Now we're only about 3.9 uh, seconds uh, faster now than Odic Tanik. 5.6 seconds faster than uh, Luis Lube and Sebastian and Lobis fourth, and then Ogier rounds up the top five. So now let's see what happens in the next stage, in stage four at night at the Brendan Reverse. Man, I have never been the, the, that close to Great Orming, and, uh, and that was a nice job. But let's keep it going here in Stage 4, in Brennan Reverse. Let's handle it out perfectly.
In four minutes and 32 seconds here in stage four, and I did it in perfect fashion, and beating out Odetanic by about 13 seconds, and Craig Bean got third, Hayden Padon got fourth, and then Luis Lube rounds out the top five. We're doing an excellent job here at the World Rally uh, in the WRC9 game here at the Wales Rally in Great Britain, and they already got through four stages in four minutes and 32 seconds, and that is gonna give us a clean cushion to try to make it the 13 in a row. And we are now 17 seconds now ahead of Odectanic, and then Luis Lube is now in third place, having a great run. This is perhaps his best rally run of the season here at the Wales Rally. And then Sebastian Lowe comes out in fourth, and Hayden Padon in the top five. And let's see what happens in the final two stages, and I think it's going to be both endurance stages. And indeed it is. It's the five reverse and the five. These are going to be both endurance stages in the final rally of this uh, World Rally Championship, the last gravel rally of the season. So let's see if we can make some quick repairs out of this thing and then get it ready for, for the final two stages. And they're both endurance stages here in the, in the five reverse and the five. And then we're just making a very itty bitty re repairs out of the car, so, and we don't need to make a brake change because the brakes are so good and they're only about 96%. So this is the final two rallies here at the uh, the, the five reverse and the five. We'll, we'll lead out the finish, and it's going to get pretty stormy over here. You know, it rains very, very usually over here at the in Great Britain, and uh, if it, when it rains here, it rains here like a, like cats and dogs in buckets. And we're going to use the hot gravel tires here for the final two stages. So let's not make any mistakes at all, keep our patience down, and not tip over the car. Because this is going to be 17 kilometers here in Dive 5, reverse in the, and then the last stage, the power stage, in the 5. So let's see how we can handle both of these endurance stages. And be on our way of making it to 12 rally races in a row. to make this rally uh, all the way for the final two, two endurance stages. Here we go. Thank you. 
Pretty slippy here.
Man, that was a nice 360 spin right there, and I recovered it. This is about maybe the ninth time this season I have done 360 spins of the, to recover and then still maintain the speed. And here's the rain returning again. Bit of hit in the, over in the wall there, but uh, I redeemed myself. And what a great job here in this endurance stage of the Die 5. We get 21 seconds over Odic Tanit. That was a 21 second advantage over Odic Tanit in the Die 5 reverse. And then Greg Bean gets third. Sebastian Low fourth. Luis Louvet rounds up the top five. And it all comes down to the final stage here in the last uh, gravel race of our World Rally Championship for episode number 50. Let's see how we can do in the regular tie five. 39 seconds now ahead of Odic Tanik. And Pierre Luis Lebay third, fourth, and then Sebastian Loeb and Craig Bean is in the top five. And Sebastian Ogier is losing ground. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make it. 13, 12 consecutive rally wins in a row. But it comes down to this final stage here in the regular tie five. But we're really going to miss the, uh, the Wales Rally because it will not be on the WRC-10 um, installment of the game. So, um, so let's enjoy it while we can because uh, there will be a new, uh, because the, the Rally to Barcelona will be uh, returning back into the rally schedule. But we're really going to miss it, uh, this rally here at the Wales Rally. And it's been great for over the years and everything, but, uh, but it's, we hate to see it go. So now we're going to do the regular dive by here in the uh, endurance stage rally. Mm -hmm. Here is the final stage.
First sector of the rally, we are already now five seconds faster. We've been doing an excellent job throughout the stage uh, here at Great Orming. This is the Great Orming section, the Great Orming sector. Thank you. 
Damn it. I hit the sign and everything, and then I lost control. Thank you. 
And we have finished the stage here in the uh, Wales Rally. And we have won it in dramatic fashion. And we almost uh, pulled in about almost a minute over Odectanic. We pulled in 54 seconds. And Hayden Badon got third place. Sebastian Ogier fourth. And Gray Bean rounds out the top five. And it was a fantastic uh, final stage of, of the rally. Even though we made a, a bit of a mistake there, we hit that tree a little bit, but the uh, car still hold on, and then the, the tires were wearing out very easily and everything, and uh, we had a little bit of rear wing damage, but uh, we made it through all the way in this uh, die by rally. And there you see the final results here, and we made the course by about 38 minutes and 41 seconds. And we beat Odic Tannig by about a minute and 34, and Hayden Payton rounds out the third, Sebastian Loeb and Elise Lube finishes in the top five, and it's our 13th consecutive World Rally win. And we have done it here, and for the second year in a row, we won the Wales Rally, the Wales Rally in Great Britain once again. It was an awesome, awesome performance, and uh, only did a uh, little miscue on this stage one, but uh, we didn't get off the course, we didn't hit a tree to get stuck into or anything, and and didn't lose time uh, for anything else. But I know we struggled in stage one, but then we caught up and then uh, we, we finished it dramatically and won the Wales Rally again for the second season in a row. And let's celebrate our victory here at the Wales Rally. An impressive job by the Hyundai Motorsports team all season long and, and what they have, we have accomplished this year. And only 10 gets second by about 40 minutes and 15 seconds. And it's our 12th consecutive rally win in a row. I am having the best ever season ever here in the Hyundai Motorsports, winning almost every race over here, but we have to accomplish that in the final uh, season three finale race in the Rally Japan. And if we accomplish that, we will win all 13 uh, uh, races into the rally schedule. And in the manufacturer standings, uh, we already clinched everything with the, the drivers and the manufacturer's championship by about 1,181 uh, points over Toyota, which only has 148 points, and then Ford gets third with only 63 points. But the tremendous job and a tremendous effort here in the, uh, the rally, Wales Rally in Great Britain, and, and did it in dominant fashion. Uh, we were, uh, struggled in the uh, first stage, but then the, the rest of the stages uh, we did excellent. And the Hyundai Motorsports car ran very well, and we've been doing all, nothing but all well all season long. And it was a, a fantastic finish and a wonderful job. And so much of a wonderful job here in this rally. Let's see how much money that we made here in the Wells Rally uh, Great Britain. $84,087 and $801,000 up for grabs. And we get a new financial advisor uh, for, uh, coming down to the season finale race in the Rally Japan. So an excellent job in this four post-championship uh, race. Uh, we already won everything, the Manufacturers and Drivers Championship, and 
It was a, a wonderful performance here in the Day and Sir Wells Rally, uh, Great Britain. And what a phenomenal job. And, and this is our 26th uh, consecutive win since Season 2 with the uh, Sweden Rally. An amazing job. And, and what a good job all season long uh, for this Hyundai Motorsports cars. And I'd like to thank them all season long uh, for, for giving me uh, one of the most uh, unbeatable, most impressive uh, uh, rally championships uh, I have ever had. And every race so far, we won all first places in every single stage and every single round. So that's going to do it for the uh, WRC9 uh, career mode for episode number 50. And it was a great uh, Wales Rally race. And the second season in a row, we win it again. And until then, on behalf of Wales uh, and then our sponsors uh, with the British uh, sponsors and everything, Tag Huber and stuff, and Kaiser. Thank you so much, and New Balance, thank you so much for watching Speed Championator 3 Channel, the WC9 World Championship, and we did it again, winning for the second season in a row in the Day and Short Wales Rally, Great Britain. And we will do Formula One, uh, possibly, uh, we're not going to do it, uh, we may do it tomorrow night or maybe Thursday, but we'll, we'll see uh, if any of the time progresses. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you into the next one. And so long, everyone.